Presented in partnership with the School of Media Art and Design at Durham College, this exhibition showcases photographs taken by students in the first year of photography and video production programs. For the project, the students explored photo voice, a process through which photography is used to reflect lived experience and connect through the sharing of personal perspectives. Perspective refers to an outlook and a point of view, while prospective is future-oriented, suggesting a vision of what is to come. It was, it was interesting. It was a wonderful opportunity and really kind of an interesting way to kind of explore how everybody in the area around us has been affected by this interesting times that we're in. Uh, my experience is actually kind of eye-opening. I mean, I knew that I enjoyed photography, but having to go out and search different locations to find an image to really showcase my love for Oshawa just left me with a thirst for more. And I like that. It's good. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's really nice. I mean, it's, I never thought that I'd be in a gallery, for one. I mean, it's kind of humbling, almost. Just, you don't realize that you have that in you until it's there. Learning to properly expose my photos. Uh, that was just something, like before coming into this, I would just pick up my camera and go do whatever. Um, whereas now, like I actually take the time to set up, I look at the exposure, I look at the ISO, I do all that stuff, rather than just like, like I said, pick it up, take a photo, that's it. Installed at the Thomas Boakley Collection Corridor, this project is part of the Robert McLaughlin Gallery's ongoing effort to present diverse perspectives from the community. The resulting photographs shared similar themes reflecting the students' realities and observations. Empty streets or paths, solace in nature, changing environments, the visible impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, and exploration of the community. So I decided to uh, choose General Motors um, because it tells a history, it's a part of the history of Oshawa and Durham. Um, I decided more specifically to go with black and white um, to kind of represent like a gloomy mood that the history represents. Um, and taking it through the fence, I just thought added this extra layer of, uh, of deepness there. My experience participating in this exhibition was fantastic. When I got the opportunity to shoot for the Oshawa Fire Department, it was amazing. So I wanted to capture important people so that their work that they do is documented in history because I know as being a volunteer all the work that they do is super important and needs to be documented so other people can look back on it. It kind of opened my eyes to what I enjoy and what I enjoy photographing and what I enjoy learning about and I don't know seeing everybody else's pictures kind of gave me this newfound inspiration to go out and try different things and try different techniques and different styles and it kind of just overall built my confidence and expanded my learning and my passion for photography. So I kind of learned about the history of Durham Region through the sculptures because with a lot of the pictures that I took came a little card explaining the history behind and it kind of showed me the life before and gave me a kind of a new perspective on the way that other people have lived their life before. To be honest, I didn't really go into this project with a whole lot of confidence. I was more in it for the assignment portion, but I knew there was a chance that I could be successful and get my work displayed in the biggest art gallery in the Durham region. So the fact that it happened is amazing. I would have never thought this was even an opportunity for a first year student. I really thought it was something that would happen like way down the road from now, but I'm so grateful that it did happen because like, you just have to put yourself out there and it's, it's incredible that all these students have this opportunity at such a young age.